Hello, my name is David Gonzalez. I typically go by Gonzo. I am the CEO and CTO of Ziff, and you can find us online at ziff.ai. When we talk about unstructured data, like image audio and video, we're talking about data that doesn't fit neatly in an Excel spreadsheet. It's not numbers, it's not transaction data. I like to say that unstructured data is the real data behind the real work that your real people do. These are representative of actual human effort, answering phone calls, sorting through photos or images. Think of a doctor trying to diagnose something, looking at slides. We're familiar with the, the phrase that image is worth a thousand words. And for us, an image is worth millions of data points. And we find examples where having that type of content, we can get higher predictions than we could with just structured data. Even though deep learning can seem very complicated, in reality, it's just solving a simple optimization problem. So it's rewarded for its ability to predict unseen data. One of the customers we've been working with called Chatbooks, they take your social feed and they print it to a scrapbook. So you have images on Instagram, Facebook, they can print it and ship it to your home. But right now it's labor intensive for the consumer to go through and curate an album. We trained a very large deep net on 20 million images to predict whether or not an image was a good photo. So a photo of your family. Is it a good family photo? Some of the features that were learned were things like sleeping baby, kids at a playground, stuff like that. Using deep learning, they were able to build AI workflows that can organize an album and then actually predict which photos are best. The reason why we want to run this all in the cloud is we have to control all of the hardware. We have to make sure that we're using the latest and greatest and that we're getting the right I.O. We obsess about images per second and about performance and latency, but we also obsess about our cost. So it, it has to back out for us on the cost per train, and we can't get that in the cloud. We need to have hardware that enables us to put our foot on the pedal. And we started like most companies. We built our own system based on you know gaming GPUs. And frankly, it was pathetic. The thing would crash once a week, sometimes once a day, and that just wasn't gonna work for us. We graduated to enterprise hardware, and specifically the C4140 has been a godsend. The best compliment you can give a hardware company is that they're forgettable. I think once we got the Dell server, we were up and running in an hour. It wasn't weeks and months of configuration and decision making and troubleshooting. We hate all of that. We just want to do stuff. We just want to run our software. We don't want to be configuring servers and figuring out what we should put in them. We just want best practices baked. And so Dell did that very well.